Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be going over the 10 best invoicing and billing software. Now, it's no surprise and no secret that in order to get paid, it's important to send invoices that are both professional and easy for your clients and customers in order to pay for the products and services that you offer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the list. Now, these are not really in any particular order, but kicking things off at number one, at that number one spot, we have Intuit QuickBooks. Now, they actually are known primarily as an accounting software, but a lot of the companies uh, that you're going to find in the list in today's video are both accounting software and they also offer invoicing. So obviously in today's video, we're going to be talking and focusing about invoicing and billing, but it just so happens that a lot of the accounting software also connects and allows you to do invoicing within their services. Now, some of the different companies that we're mentioning today uh, are just focused around invoicing while other ones also do accounting. It just depends on the software that you're looking at. So at number one, like I said, we have Intuit QuickBooks, and the reason is is just QuickBooks, since it is really one of the most popular accounting softwares that I mentioned on the channel before uh, in another list as well, they also have invoicing. So it just makes it so simple if you're already using QuickBooks for your accounting and bookkeeping, then it definitely makes a lot of sense to use them for billing and invoicing or invoicing your clients and customers as well, just because it's already built in there. And you can send that those invoices uh, with their software and get paid. So, and it connects right into your accounting. So you have everything all synced up right there in one package, which makes a lot of sense if you're already using QuickBooks. Oh, and links will be down in the description box below as well to all of the different software mentioned in today's video in case you wanna learn more or just check out each of them for yourself. So uh, be sure to check those out if you would like to as well to learn more about each of the different software mentioned in today's video. So yeah. We're not going to be diving too deep into each of them. We're just doing a brief overview so you can get a general idea uh, as to what maybe you want to look into more and 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 do some more uh, searching and figuring out for yourself is whether, you know, maybe you try one out and see if you like it or see if you don't like it. But yeah, QuickBooks, definitely at that number one spot and a great invoicing software just because it, it syncs right up very easily. Uh, as you can see here, as far as they do have some nice templates as well, uh, as you can see, uh, coffee beans, right? If you're selling coffee beans, uh, you can set that up and customers can easily pay with a bank, a credit card, debit, uh, depending on just the way that they need to pay. Uh, so as you can see, you can create custom invoices, uh, add colors, logos, you can do billable hours as well, and you get the those alerts as well, whether they're submitted or when things are paid. So just nice, simple, and easy setup as well. Uh, so yeah, definitely would recommend checking out QuickBooks if you're looking to do invoicing. They also have recurring invoices, so maybe if you would want to set up, depending on the types of services or product that you offer, then you can also set up the recurring invoices to auto send day, week, month, or year. So yes, so that they also have that as well. So they really just, they have a lot of different features that are built into the QuickBooks ecosystem with their invoicing. So that's why I definitely would recommend uh, checking them out and giving them a shot. So at the number two spot, we have PayPal. Now, I know some people are like, ah, PayPal, right? But it's just, it's so, uh, popular and just is one of the most popular payment platforms. And so it just makes a ton of sense to put PayPal up there because they also offer invoicing. So it, because PayPal is just widely used both uh, internationally as well, makes a ton of sense to use PayPal as an invoicing service. Maybe you already have uh, an established PayPal account. Maybe you don't have, uh, maybe you're not doing your accounting or bookkeeping through companies such as QuickBooks, for example. Maybe you just want something simple, easy, and you can send it off to your customers or your clients. Real easy, you can set up an invoice directly through PayPal uh, as well, which is very nice. They do have some basic templates too that you can use. Uh, they'll automatically like add your little logo in there as well uh, from your PayPal account. Uh, so if you already have like a PayPal business account, then it definitely makes a ton of sense to use PayPal for invoicing just because 
if you already have an account, same thing along the same lines as QuickBooks. Like if you already have an account, it just makes it so easy to, to do their invoicing and use them for invoicing as well, just because, hey, you are, you're using them. So it just makes it simpler. You don't have to create a whole new account and set up all the different uh, payment aspects to it or, or banking information. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out PayPal. They have invoicing uh, as well, and it is pretty simple and easy to use. Um, as well, and the fees, you do need to look into the specific fees. And, and the reason I'm not going too deep into the fees and pricing is because that is all subject to change. Um, so that changes on a regular basis. So it's definitely up to you to see like, hey, you know, maybe comparing the different fees and, and things like that, if, if that uh, matters to you. Um, but we're just going over the broad bit. Uh, bits of the different platforms. So moving into number three, definitely would recommend PayPal. Uh, moving into number three, we have Square Up invoices. So Square also does invoicing. So maybe if you've seen a lot of other videos on the channel about website building and all that, then you know that you can easily build a website with a company like Square uh, and build out a e-commerce site. Uh, but they also do have, in addition to their point of sale systems, which is probably their most popular product that they have, the little Square readers and, and chips and all that. So people swipe cards. They also do have invoicing. So with Square, you not only have like the whole website side of things or just the point of sale system uh, side of things with maybe like retail stores, you also have invoicing that you can do with them as well. Just another example, if you're already using Square, then you can use them for your invoicing as well, which is nice and easy and simple. You already just use the same account and you don't have to set up a new one. Uh, yeah, definitely recommend checking out Square. Pretty simple and nice and easy to use. Pretty clean dashboard as well. Uh, that's really, at least in my opinion, pretty important when it comes to selecting uh, invoicing and billing software is, hey, is this easy for customers and clients to navigate? Is it easy for you to track as well in your own dashboard so you can see how your business is doing? Then it's important. So I would definitely recommend checking out Square there at that number three spot. Moving into number four, we have FreshBooks. Now, if you've seen the uh, best accounting software for small businesses video on my channel, then you know FreshBooks also does accounting. And just like QuickBooks, you got FreshBooks, but FreshBooks also does invoicing as well. So if you're looking at doing invoicing through your accounting software, then FreshBooks is a good option for you to take a look at. They have uh, clean invoices. As you can see, you can change out the colors and really customize it to your look and feel of your business and add your logos or uh, maybe a nice little background. Maybe if you're construction, maybe you add like a crane or something. I don't know. Uh, you can get creative with it as far as how you want your invoices to look and feel for your customers so that. It, it makes a lot of sense. You can add your, your details, your information in there as well um, if your customers need to reach out to you. Uh, but yeah, so you can easily accept the credit cards, ACH, and get paid. They also have Apple Pay, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, you know, depending on what your what you like, maybe if you're already using FreshBooks, could make sense just to use them for invoicing as well. Uh, you can see here they have different options as well as far as getting paid up front, deposits, uh, various amounts. So, you know, you can bill things exactly how you need them to be. You could even bill for billable hours too if, they're, if you're doing that as well. Uh, so depending on the type of business that you operate, then it may make sense to use a company like FreshBooks um, because they also have invoicing. So... Moving in at number five, we have invoice to go. Now, this is a bit different from the other uh, companies mentioned earlier because the rest of those uh, software tools are primarily focused around either uh, accounting or or websites or you know payment platforms. Uh, this is really just focused around invoicing, which is invoice to go. And apparently they are owned by bill.com as well, which is cool. Uh, but this is really just focused around invoicing. So if invoicing is all that you really need from a software, uh, then I, you know, if you're looking at different companies, you're trying to compare them, then definitely take a look at invoice to go. If that's all that you care about, you don't care about any of the other features that a company that the other companies mentioned here in this video uh, today uh, offer, then if you just want to keep things simple, invoice to go could be good for you. Um, pretty simple, easy platform as well. As you can see, they use a, a plumber as an example, right? If you need to do a faucet repair, there you go. You can uh, send that to your clients or customers. Uh, so they have bike repair shop, I believe. That's what that, yeah, bike frame. 
uh, powder coating. So, you know, just showing you the different options. Uh, so you, you can easily set up invoices through invoice to go and it is focused. Oh, and they also link with a QuickBooks or Zero. So if you want something really that is specialized around invoicing and 100% and dedicated and focused to invoicing, then I would take a look at invoice to go because it is a good option and it connects with your accounting software as well so you can easily sync data. Uh, so, you know, maybe if you are using those accounting softwares, then it makes sense to set up like an invoice to go just as a separate platform. So you have things kind of, uh, you know, organized and set up how you like it. It's once again, just take a look at the software, see if you like the way that the, the user experience is for you. Um, you know, I would try trying out a bunch of these different invoicing platforms really to, and just to be able to figure out which really is best for you uh, to bill your clients and customers. So moving in at number six, we have a Zoho invoice. So this one as, as well is another accounting type uh, software that they, they also have invoicing. So uh, they have invoicing software for small businesses. So uh, if you're trying to do professional invoices, payment reminders, logging hours, and, um, you know, getting paid, then definitely take a look at a Zoho invoice. I have mentioned them as well in the accounting software video, uh, if you've seen that on the channel. Uh, so you can easily set up different payment gateways, which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of the popular payment gateways I've mentioned on the channel before as well, uh, in, in the payment gateways video, if you have seen that one. And so you can create professional invoices uh, send them easily and connect up depending on how you want to get paid. So it's nice that they have a lot of different company integrations as well with Zoho. Uh, so you can see different types of categories. Uh, you know, they have variety. You can do estimates, uh, expense tracking, time tracking, detailed reports, and the little client portal uh, as well. So, you know, maybe if you're having multiple invoices sent out to the same customers, then a Zoho could be a good option for you. Or if you want to use them for the other services that Zoho offers, and you kind of just want to keep it all under Zoho, uh, then, you know, it makes sense if you're already using them, maybe as a CRM for your books, uh, as well as their other uh, product offerings that they have. Obviously, Zoho is quite a big suite of different software tools that they offer for small businesses. So uh, definitely worth taking a look at for invoicing. And moving into the next one on this list, we have Wave. Now, I know Wave is an accounting platform as well, but they do also have Wave invoicing. So if you're already using Wave accounting, then it could make sense to use Wave invoicing. Uh, as you can see here, pretty simple, pretty clean setup. You can use their little templates and create professional invoices. A lot of invoices that you're seeing in this video here today, a lot of them look very similar. It's because it's an invoice, right? An invoice is an invoice, right? You, you want to get paid and this is how you send it to your customers. Uh, so... Yeah, you can set that up and design it easily within Wave. You can set the colors, add your logo, uh, add extra company information, and it's already automatically easily synced with your Wave accounting software uh, that is included when you set up with their invoicing. So uh, if you're trying to manage your accounts, then it could make sense to use that uh, Wave as well for your invoicing. Uh, because it connects right to your accounting software. So really with any type of software tool, as you can see, you can see you have like little cash flow charts and all that kind of fun stuff. Really with any of these software tools, it, you really kind of have to test them out and see if you like the user experience and the navigation and the integrations that they offer. You kind of have to play around with them, uh, maybe set up different accounts with them and, and, and test them out at least uh, or try out some free trials or stuff like that or setting up free accounts, makes a lot of sense to just at least try them out uh, to better compare them uh, between what you personally like. Because one for one person might like one uh, software tool and one other person may hate that one and like something else uh, totally different. So uh, it just, it really is, you kind of have to test the waters. So moving in at number eight, we have zero. Now zero uh, is pronounced zero, but it's spelled X-E-R-O. So X-E-R-O, kind of like the xenomorph from Aliens, if you've seen that movie, uh, then you can easily accept payments as well. So they are primarily zero accounting software. Mention them in the accounting software video as well. 
Uh, and they also have invoicing, so you can easily connect and set up invoicing and billing, so you can connect it right to your accounting software. Uh, if you want to keep using Zero, then you know it makes sense. You can easily get paid from invoices uh, as well. Uh, connect to different platforms. As you can see here, this is kind of like a little uh, template that they have here. Uh, so you have your logo, you have invoicing information, uh, so you can get paid. <laughs> get paid now, yes, please. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. So you can use uh, uh, online invoice payments so you can easily see you can have uh, customers pay with a variety of different payment methods uh, and you can get paid from your invoices and it easily links up with your Xero accounting. So if you're already using Xero for accounting, then you could use them for invoicing as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you're, if you don't care about the accounting aspect of it, then maybe try other platforms, uh, you know, such as PayPal, just for the simplicity's sake or square up as well, or even invoice to go just because they're, they don't have the whole accounting aspect into them as well. But if you're trying to bake it all in one, then it totally makes sense to go with like a zero or a QuickBooks to do your invoicing as well, or even a wave too, or a Zoho, although they have a lot more than even just the accounting, uh, as well as FreshBooks. So moving in at number nine, we have Invoice Simple. So I figured I would include them in this list as well. They are primarily focused around invoicing once again. So uh, you'll see that as well with just a few of the options. I figured, you know, got to have it, keep it simple. If you want to just stick to, as it's in the name, if you want to just keep to invoicing, then this uh, platform can be good for you if all you really care about is invoicing invoice templates uh, and just setting up and sending invoices. You don't care about all the extra uh, tech tech um, connections and all those aspects. This is just focused around invoicing. So it, you don't have to worry about all the extra, you know, syncing all your data together. If, if you don't care about all the extra like accounting and, and tracking and syncing everything together, uh, then Invoice Simple could be good for you to check out just because it is very easy and basic. If you just want something basic, then Invoice Simple uh, could be a good option for you. Moving in at number 10, very similar to an Invoice Simple, we have Invoice Ninja. Now they have a bit more of the whole tracking uh, aspect into them as well, but they are really primarily focused around invoicing as it says in the name Invoice Ninja. Very similar to an Invoice Simple where it is primarily just focused around invoicing if that's all that you really care about. Uh, you can also still do a few more features with a, co a company like Invoice Ninja. As you can see here, they have invoicing payments, uh, online payments, quotes, credits, uh, different workflows uh, in integrations and time tracking and expenses. Uh, so depending on what you need for your business, then it may make sense for you to use Invoice Ninja. Uh, as you can see, they have an app as well. Uh, so you can easily track it and it is just primarily focused around invoicing. So if that's really what you mainly care about is just the invoicing aspect, then definitely look no further than Invoice Ninja. But guys, that is the video here today. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that is all for the 10 best invoicing and billing software. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.